Well, hello there, Taurus. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration, and I'm here for your September 2019 reading. Um, this is a general reading, okay? So this is for sun, moon, or rising. So if this doesn't resonate with you, as I put the other readings up, go check them out. Um, also, anybody that's new here, welcome. Thank you so much for checking out this video. And my current and constant subscribers and watchers, thank you again so much for watching. And if you guys see anything that you like or this resonates with you or what have you, please feel free to like, click the subscribe button, and please do share. Also, leave me some comments. All right, let's get into the reading. What I did first before we started today is I've already picked out, um, I've already put out some of our um, energy oracle cards. Um, these energy oracle cards here, um, I'm using these as overall guidance and then we'll get into the actual reading itself. So I am going to read you directly from the book what each of these says, okay? So first we have the angel of love. It really appears to me what's going on, by the way. We've got the angel of love. We've got the fourth chakra of Archangel Raphael, which is your heart chakra. And then we have the sixth chakra, which is your third eye chakra of Archangel Metatron. So it appears to me that we're really going to be looking into affairs of the heart. That could be romance. That could also be how we look at ourselves. That could be examining our true desires, what's truly going to help us, uh, or truly our purpose, right? What we truly love. And that's really going to be a big um, theme for September, which makes complete sense with the way um, that the moon um, cycles are going along with the rest of the astrological aspects. So the angel of love, tender connections, okay? This beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose-colored wings. She holds a rose quartz heart radiating tender and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for new love, Taurus, this angel brings a message of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to say that that greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward, right? Towards yourself. That's why I said, I think this has got a lot to do with us this this month, right? Ourselves. Um, and the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm, okay? So we've got some really good love, love of self, um, centering that kind of energy, right? Being kind to yourself this month, Taurus. Then we've got the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, love, compassion, and self-acceptance. Um, this card dictates to indicates to you now that you now have a greater readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It could also indicate that a much needed healing from a previous broken heart is taking place. The tender vibrations of, of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with an irresistible beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow and grow. And finally, that sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, this very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra or third eye, which is the center devotion to insight and clear thoughts. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective towards broader horizons, some new perceptions are taking hold, and the clouds of confusion are clearing, right? In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you're on your way to developing deeper insight into what's going on. And now is the time to focus in on personal vision. So we're going to use our Thelema deck then for the main reading. That's the overall energies that we have. Um, initially, I'm telling you what I'm seeing is that you need to focus on you, your desires, your passions, your thoughts, all of these things that are going to bring you into a much deeper um, love of self, have compassion for yourself, and examine really the, the relationships that you have going on. Examine them in a deep way. Are they helping you to evolve? Or are they situations you should even be involved, people you should be involved with? We're going to be taking a really good look. Now, 
there are going to be people and and situations things uh, that are about to come to your aid right they're about to come to your aid don't need to flip it like that i'm reading them upright so we're just going to take a look at all of these i might need to move my beautiful crystals out of the way we'll just put them off to the side here i want you guys to be able to see the cards fully all right so let's get into these things a little bit more oh there's so much love here torres there is so much love here i'm so excited for you great oh my goodness and celebration I, you know, those of you Taurus, Taurians, if you're looking for new love, September really could be it for you. This is some beautiful energy. If you're in a relationship already, your relationship is going to get a lot stronger. I can tell you that right now. And if you don't really fall into either category, right? If your situation is you're like, Lise, I just, you know, want my business to grow. I just want all this to happen. That's going to, you know... I want to be fulfilled. That's beautiful. That's what's going to happen this month then. Coming towards you here is the Two of Cups, okay? The Two of Cups. I do read everything upright, all right? So, um, but if I sense it's reverse energy or it pops out reverse, then we acknowledge that. But so I see partnership. You know, soulmates don't, are not always romantic. Some soulmates are business partners, are friends, family. There are some of them are soulmates. But I see this again partnership right with that three of pentacles this is definitely someone commissioning you to do something fantastic this is someone coming alongside of you and supporting you financially or supporting you with their time and really assisting in this happening this could very well be an, into your purpose like moving into your purpose this is really weak this is a month of stay the course stay where you're planted don't give up you can do this and now we're getting the assistance to overcome any obstacles there's a lot of water energy here pisces cancer scorpio we have both um cancerian indicators here the chariot being the major arcana and the queen of cups being the minor arcana so this is all going to happen very quickly it's one of those suddenlies like suddenly this person appears suddenly 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 how fabulous is that? With the Queen of Cups, you're feeling very good about yourself. You're starting to feel really good about money, right? All of that is coming into balance. Um, with the Two of Wands, we're making passionate decisions that are really going to propel us forward. We just know which way to go. Like, you're just going to have this knowledge of this knowing deep down inside, right? And with the Devil, so that's Capricornian energy. I'm not going to read that as toxic. I'm going to read that as Capricornian energy. So you're feeling like, Hey, I can really build this foundation. This is beautiful earth energy. We're in an earth energy time right now at the beginning of the month. For the majority of the month. Um, we're in a beautiful earth energy time. How wonderful is that? So really take um, a hold of that Capricornian energy and allow it to just flourish. Allow the planning. Allow the um, ability to grow that which you have been seeking to grow allow that foundation right the structure put the structure in place and you're highly motivated this month to do so and you're also getting help amazing right this is great this is great now energy that could be an obstacle to us is the three of cups this could be like this feeling of i don't know if there's too many cooks in the kitchen and this can also be the feeling of, is this really happening for me? And, you know, real, and with this Ace of Wands energy as well, the passion, like, it's kind of throwing you off a little bit. We've got the Nine of Wands coming out a tad bit sideways here. This is, you're, you're torn between, do I rest or not? Um, do I go forward or not? Is this really happening? Can this really be true? Can this person really be this good? So this person could also be a Capricorn if I'm going to take that major arcana. Um, and you might also be feeling a little bit self-indulgent. I'm going to add that to this over here about yourself. Which is probably feeding into this, is this too good to be true? Should I really be doing this? Is this something I, that, that is this the way I should go? Um, the reason why, because you're so used to giving, giving, giving to other people, right, Taurus? You're really good at that. You're a giver, you're a lover, you're a family, you know, curator. 
um, it's very important to you. So you could be feeling a little guilty, like, oh my goodness, is this mine, right? Like, am I putting too much emphasis on what I want and foregoing other people's needs? You know what? It's okay because you're supposed to. You're not supposed to always focus on everybody else. You got to focus on you sometimes. And this is the time to do it because it's going to help your entire world flourish. Okay. So you're feeling a little like, is this too much? Because this is very quick moving energy. The chariot is quick moving. The water energy is fluid. We don't have a lot of earth energy in this reading. So you're feeling pushed. Right. And I kind of want to rest, but I kind of want to push forward. What's going to help you overcome that is this queen of wands energy. Okay. This real fiery, this real self-confident, this real, oh my gosh, I know I can do this energy. Right. And knowing that you, what you're going to find six of wands victory, wherever, you, whatever you put your mind to, whatever you set your mind to, you're going to find victory in it because you're going to be willing to put in that eight of pentacles hard work. You're going to be willing to put in the work in order to achieve that which you seek to achieve. Okay. Now the outcome or advice we have for you here is the hermit card. Study, 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 like take advantage of this Virgo energy right now. As we come into Libra energy, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. Remain balanced. Keep putting in. You're going to get out. You will see the, you will reap the harvest right and do continue yes this is rather a solo adventure to an extent but accept the help as it comes and it's fine to keep studying right to keep um discovering new ideas ace of swords energy new starts new ideas new plan like i had a whole plan and you thought that was the plan that you were going to want to use but oh my goodness not so much totally fine totally totally fine it's totally cool so understand that the new ideas that are coming to you it's not it's just a new avenue it's like taking a different route to the same place instead of going this direction you're going to take the side roads the side roads are fine they're probably a little bit more scenic, but you're feeling propelled to push and to move forward. So if you've met someone new and you, you, maybe you didn't think you wanted to go and approach them, well, go on and approach them. Let them know that, you know, you're interested. If you're in a current relationship, make some things fresh and exciting again. It's totally cool to do so, but always remember, follow what your third eye, your intuition, your sight, your own personal you know, higher consciousness, spirit-led sight. Yes, in communication with the universe, with God, being led that way, in fellowship with the creator, and allowing these wonderful, beautiful, creative ideas to come down that you're going to put a whole lot of work with and behind and cultivate your partnerships so that your whole goal flourishes, your life flourishes, abundance comes, and the affairs of the heart, like you're just exuding love. Why? Because you're so at peace, because you love yourself so completely, and you love the outcome that you are bringing forward into this world. That's what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell button so that you get all the notifications and be sure notifications are enabled on your phone or other mobile device so that you'll know every time that I put up new content. Hey, I very much appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you. Namaste. Bye-bye.